Well, for three generations now, Hillary Communications has been providing cable and phone service to small communities in southwestern Oklahoma. So they jumped at the chance to partner with USDA Rural Development to help merge more small communities onto the broadband superhighway. The town of Cooperton often gets passed right on by these days. Outside the occasional Saturday night dance, not much of a reason to stop. Go. Except for the grand opening of a new community center, residents here hope can better connect them via the internet. Uh, Wi-Fi signal. I'm really excited. I'm, it's, we've never had reliable service. We've all occasionally been able to find somebody that would try to give us a signal and try to get, you know, but it's never been reliable. Leanne Ballou says on these windswept plains, even getting a cell signal can be a bit of a challenge. But thanks to a USDA Rural Development Grant, residents here can now get online with internet speeds that rival anywhere in the U.S. Ryan McMullen is the state director of USDA Rural Development. Cowboy hat. Oh, these, these communities are absolutely important. A lot of folks, as someone drives down State Highway 54, they see Cooperton and, and they see a ghost town. They, they see a town that's lost population for the last 80 years, but um, in reality, there's, there's still uh, families that have been farming this land for, for the last 100 years and, and are clinging on to the land and, and uh, you know, deserve to have a similar quality of life as, as folks that live in the metropolitan areas. Check your email. Yet when it comes to internet service, true broadband isn't available for much of rural America. According to the Rural Broadband Policy Group, as many as 100 million country dwelling Americans suffer through download speeds of about three megabytes per second, more of a horse and buggy pace than an internet superhighway which is where Hillary Communications comes in. This is our switch room for our switch central office. A spider's web of fiber optic cables that Eddie Hillary says links rural areas of southwestern Oklahoma with the latest TV and internet service. We offer fiber home services throughout our service area. Um, we offer speeds, 50 and 100 meg speeds. Which rivals anything you find in an urban area. We also are going into the business park in Elgin and our customers in the Mears area and offer them gigabit services. Which is as good as it gets here in the U.S. and a vast improvement for the small towns that dot their service area. Improvements, Dustin Hillary says, couldn't have been made without the federal help. Well, USDA just is, is a vital role and a good partner to work with because without this grant, we, we couldn't have done this or even ventured very far out of our, our area that you know we've been building for the last 40 years. I mean, it's just vital that, that they're either here with these grants or we've got low-interest loans from them, uh, long-term loans that, that just really, we couldn't do it without them. And providing cutting-edge Internet service to the small towns in this area is no small feat. First, there is the distance. Then... There's the topography. Covered in boulders the size of cars, the Wichita Mountains can be a formidable foe. Still, Doug Hillary says the work they do helps their friends and neighbors in ways many never realize. The real water is on our systems that they control the pumps back and forth in, in this addition through the office and, and knowing what's going on. The, the telephones we, we handle through the USDA, the internet we handle through the USDA, the cable vision that's in their home, the over-the-top video, the fire departments, whenever the fire departments get a call from a 911 or from an ambulance, we know who lives in this house that's there, we know their age, we know everything about them, so whenever they're dispatched, they know what's going on whenever they arrive here already, because it's already printed off through the fire station that we're, that we're supplying broadband internet too. Making these overhead lines a true connection to a more sustainable rural Oklahoma. Now if you'd like to see firsthand just how important high speed internet service is for rural Oklahoma, just head to our website at okhorizon.com where I visit with a social networking guru and small town resident Becky McRae about why online commerce could be the savior of our small communities.
the tools that are available to us online right now represent an unparalleled opportunity for small towns because the people of small towns grow up with the right set of skills, with the right friendliness, with the right way of treating people as individuals and relating to people one-on-one. -on -one. Taking all of those skills and going online, we're able as small town people to have a huge advantage over people that don't have that same set of skills that comes from their background and their upbringing. Because of that advantage, we have a natural opportunity for small towns to make a wonderful economic benefit out of the online tools that we have right now. Our businesses can benefit, our local institutions can benefit, our organizations, our people can network and learn things from all over the world. These tools represent an unparalleled opportunity. To see more of my conversation with social networking expert Becky McRae, just head to OKRISA.com and look for her under our value added section.